quite the number of boxes in the American market from March to April reversed and started to move higher instead of going lower. Did the Pokemon company started to print more boxes? I highly doubt it. Yeah. Hello people, it's that time of the month. No, I don't have my period. <sighs> Thanks God there's no uh, woman watch my channel according to my analytics. Uh, but uh, today, as we do every month, we're going to take a look at the supply for sold and shield boxes in both the European and the American market. As you can see, we're taking a look at TCG Player. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go over the prices of them, see what they compared to last month. I'm pretty sure you are updated. If you're not, then you can just uh, check it out for both boxes and cases. And then the main part is we are going to take a look at the number of supply. How is that evolving? Again, both in the European and the American market. So car market as a G player. And most importantly, something that um, I care about is we're going to try to think about why we're seeing what we're seeing. So why we're seeing a difference in the number of supply in the market for certain sets and why it's happening, what it's happening with the prices of some boxes. Easy to say this is going down, this is going up. What it's hard and what it's most important is try to understand why that is happening. Now, I'm not saying that I do know why. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I'll be rich, most likely laying down on a beach at the Caribbean. But I'm here in my room. It's boiling hot and uh, I am trying to make a video. So that means that, guys, let's get started without wasting too much time. As always, I'll leave you timestamps so you can move around the video as you would like. Now, chilling rain, chilling rain, 220. As you can see, it's been moving higher. It's selling for 220. Nothing there to be said. Again, I'm going quickly as the main part is the data and then we go back on to prices. Cases, as you can see, it's going steadily higher. It is now selling, it looks like, for fifteen hundred dollars now one thing i forgot i never asked you so if you're american please let me know do you need to add sales tax to this number right here is that how it works please let me know down in the comments and uh because i'm generally curious because if it's this plus tail sales tax it does make a difference as european prices all display prices include sales tax now moving on involving skies as you can see it is selling for seven hundred dollars so it's been in the low 700s, high 600 for a while, and it looks like it is starting to break higher. And it's selling, as you can see, there's multiple sales per day. So that's quite interesting. Here is guys, cases, 4,500, pretty expensive. I remember before the latest uh, boom, uh, they, were, they were available in the pre-market for 3,000, and I was about to buy it. One, for a quick flip, I didn't because I am broke. Now, that being said, $4,000, as you can see, it is selling for $4,000. Obviously, there's not as much volume when it comes to sales, but they do sell once in a while. Fusion Strike, 244 according here, and it looks like it is selling for 240 So in the 240s, 35 to 44 so I would say safely 240s. And it was selling for in the 230s, so it's moving a bit higher, but nothing crazy there. What a 5% move to the upside, and it has been stagnant over the last three months and uh, stay there because we're going to analyze why or at least why i think this is happening cases 1600 as you can see it is selling for 1600 almost 1700 brilliant stars boxes it is moving lower at 180 dollars and uh, we've seen it being around 150 dollars for a while because it was still available at the pokemon center for that price so 143 Again, I don't know if you need to add sales tax to that. I think you most likely do. Let me know, guys, down in the comments. And uh, yeah, 180, and it did get to 190, and now it's moving back down, which I think Brilliant Stars is now sold out at the Pokemon Center, if I'm not mistaken. There's only Solar Tempest left when it comes to Solar and Shield. Now, cases, 1100, 1200, so right there about in the 1100, if you look at the lowest listed, 1100 so we are in the 1100s and uh, there's not much volume as you can see actually there's more sales for evo skies than a brilliant which is quite interesting actually don't you think considering evo skies is 4x the price now astral 160 it's been sitting in the u it was for at 120 for such a long time so that's pretty interesting and 172 162 160 so that makes it quite interesting when it comes to cases moving higher 1200 1000 so but that was april so here no recorded sales till april 
not sure why if I mean I'm again many sales are recorded either through eBay or private market through Facebook marketplace for Facebook groups so I'm aware of that this is just a percentage of the overall market I know and that thing same thing same logic applies to the number of boxes available I know I see it every time I'll see every time actually no one no one ever comment yet but uh, I'm sure that as I will grow larger hopefully soon and hopefully it'll happen uh, many people will start to come with that that being said 1100 1100 if we can get it for SU 700 but um, yeah I don't see it being uh, any lower than a thousand dollars lost origin it is moving lower 190 it is selling for 190 dollar 190 dollars again we'll take a look at the numbers and we go through some thinking on why that is happening I heard I mean I heard a lot of things every day a lot of nonsense and I mean again I don't have much one so I don't know but I at least try to give a logical and reasonable explanation to why I think these things are happening cases 1200 um, selling for as low actually as 1200 and they do sell more than astral more than brilliant as you can see here so that's also something interesting to keep in mind last but not least silver tempest which is selling for 160 again I think this is still available in the Pokemon Center as of today which is June 30th and uh, I'm also th pretty sure that people don't want to buy from the Pokemon Center because they are apparently um, I don't want to say not able to package things because I don't want to get in trouble uh, but uh, their way to package stuff is controversial that let's put it that way so $160 moving higher and uh, when it comes to cases they do hold quite the premium L look at this from 700 to over a thousand it is selling now for a thousand dollars and they do sell again not many sales here on tissue player so most likely they didn't happen in private groups that's highly possible now a little parenthesis here if you are in the U and you want a Silver Tempest case, there's CCGmarket.it that is selling one for 800 euros after discount with code Barrett5. That means that let's get into the juicy part, supply. So here we are with our spreadsheet. Now, without wasting too much time, I'll go straight to the point. Here we have the number of boxes on car market. Yellow, Astral, Gray, Brilliant, Orange, Fusion, chillin is blue they all b have been moving lower over time especially as you can see astral apart from brilliant astral and fusion and they started to move higher in supply from here which would be april this is july june may and april so from april onwards they increase in supply how come I'll stay there and we'll go over that in just a second similar thing in the American market again I'll say it again because most likely some people skip that part I am aware this is not the total supply of boxes in the market this is more portion it only reflects TCG player car market there's eBay there's private groups blah, blah 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 I know but that's the best we can work with if you are so it would be so generous to go on to private groups count those boxes count the box on eBay then I will highly appreciate your work if you don't which I don't blame you I don't do it now I don't know if anyone does then thank you for watching this video so here similar trend moving down in terms of supply up till April as you can see here why the number of boxes in the American market from March to April reversed and started to move higher instead of going lower did the Pokemon company started to print more boxes I highly doubt it what could have happened now before I tell you what I think we also have as you can see here lost orange data so TG player in blue car market in orange that's what been happening over time and as you can see here same thing this is July June May and April from April onwards boxes have been moving higher how come and last but not least I don't have silver tempest plotted yet nor evolving skies however I think it is worth mentioning that the number of cases for US guys in the European Union is the largest there is after Tempest now for reference Tempest had a restock in April 
in the European Union. So a bunch of silver tempests hit the market in the European Union. By the way, I forgot to say, all European data is taken automatically via the bot, which is available for free in the Discord. So if you want to join, I'll leave you here a playlist explaining a bit about the bot. But if you want to join, just join the Discord and you'll find much more instruction and details in there. Again, absolutely free. That's how it's taken. For TG Player, I do this every month manually. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass. So I would appreciate it if you would leave a like or subscribe. Now, Evolving Skies, 20 boxes in, in the European market, second only to Tempest. That's a huge number of boxes. And as we've seen previously at the first part of the video, we have Evolving Skies and TG Player selling more often than Astro. What does that tell us? Demand for Evolving Skies is still there. So if demand is still there, let's let's think it through. If you buy Evolving Skies today at 700 euro, euros roughly in the EU and 700 dollars in the US, I don't know if I, if I said 700 or 600 in the EU, it was 600. So let's say you buy a 700 in the US. If you buy today, there's two things the way I see it. Number one, you're a collector, you missed out, you want your collection and just buy it. Number two, you're an investor and you do believe that Evolving Skies has potential to move higher. Those are two scenarios I see. Number three is kind of a mix, something in between is what I like to call the people that like to keep seal because it tends to increase in price. I'm not said it, it will, it does, it tends to. There's a chance it will. I honestly hate all those who say sealed does go higher, will go higher. Let's not talk about that. So that's the three reasons I see why people would buy Evolving Skies at $700. Other than that, I don't see the point unless they're fake sales, which I don't think so. So demand for US guys is there. Now, let's address why we've seen from April, March to April onwards, an increased number of boxes. Now, Let's go over, I mean, for these four, we can go over them, especially for Chillin and Fusion. If you look at Fusion, Fusion went from 52 to 90 boxes in the European Union and from 56 to also not about 90 boxes. So almost 2x, like probably a 80% increase. Now, why did Fusion in the same period of time slow down? I'll leave you, I won't, I won't change page, but I'll leave you the, the chart of Fusion as I'm talking. And as we talked earlier, as you can see right now, it's been moving sideways. Well, if you look at supply and then in the same time price was doing this, supply was doing this. As supply increases, if demand can keep up, price will either stagnate or drop lower. Now, the fact that it didn't drop much lower is potentially a sign a warning that demand is strong for this set. How is demand strong? Well, again, two things, either collectors want in their collection or investors want to buy it because they speculate that it will increase in price over time. I said speculate, not because I think it's a flip. I said speculate because basically you're making a bet. You're betting if you invest that that item will increase its price over time, not its value. The value won't change. You get a box evolving skies in six months, unless you burn it or you you messed it up, it's still going to have the same cards you had. It's still going to be the same piece of cardboard. The value won't change. What changes its price. Remember guys, value doesn't change in these items. They're not companies. Companies can provide more value by adding services, goods to their investors. Boxes are that they will remain a piece of cardboard. Value doesn't change. The cards inside the sand won't change. Price will remember that. That being said, again, we've seen that's what's happening with Fusion Strike. Chilling Rain, similar stories. Brilliant Stars is a bit different. How come? People with Brilliant Stars, you wear 150 because it was available at the Pokemon Center. So what happened was, most likely, people were buying 150 from either TG Player or the Pokemon Center. 
then they waited. And as you can see, there wasn't a big dump in, in terms of supply. How come? Well, if you buy here at 150 and today the box is 180 after fees, because I know TG Player has 13% fees, it comes down to what? 160. So if you buy 150 and you sell, let's say for 165 net, are you going to sell? I don't think so. That's why we haven't seen such a large increase. As a matter of fact, it is moving lower over time. Now, Astral, similar thin, it's moving lower because price hasn't increased as much. Lost Origin. Why is Lost Origin interesting? Look at the price of Lost Origin in April. So that's when boxes start to hit the market. It spiked, I think. I will check. I'll leave you the price on the screen. If I'm not mistaken, it started to spike February, late February. So it went from 120, 130 to 200. If you buy 120, then you take the boxes out of the market. As you can see here, you take them out of the market. They get to 200. You sell. You're happy with the profits. You sell. Hence, the increase of supply. Can increase the supply today with people that are more hesitant to buy 200 than 120. Well, you get price will drop lower, which is what's happening. So instead of panicking, instead of fumbling, instead of spreading misinformation, sit down, relax and think. Why did a loss surgeon go from 120 to 200? Well, if everyone buys, price will move higher. By buying, you're doing two things. You're taking supply out of the market and you're generating demand. You're creating demand. That's what you do when you buy. If I buy this pen, what am I doing? I'm taking this pen out of the market and I'm creating demand. Why? Because I bought this pen. Hmm. Then Timmy might say, well, if he bought it, there must be a reason why I could buy it too. Maybe he's seen something that I don't see. You're creating demand and you're getting rid of supply. That's how the market works. That means that guys, I won't make this video too long. If you're interested in these type of talks, then let me know down in the comments and I will try to analyze set per set, see what's happening to resource supply, see what's happening to resource demand, and hence see what's happening to price. For now, thanks for watching and I will see you with the update in a month from now, but I hope to see you sooner in another video. Ciao!